If you or someone you know is navigating vitiligo treatment, you've likely heard about tacrolimus ointment and opsilura cream. Both are popular non-steroidal options, but they work differently. Understanding their key differences can help you have a more informed conversation with your dermatologist. First, what is vitiligo? Vitiligo is an autoimmune condition where the body's immune system mistakenly attacks and destroys melanocytes, the cells that give your skin its color. This results in smooth, white patches on the skin. While there is no cure, treatments aim to stop the spread and encourage repigmentation. Tacrolimus ointment, or protopic. It's a topical calcineurin inhibitor. It calms the local immune response in the skin, reducing inflammation and giving pigment cells a chance to recover and produce melanin again. It is used off-label for vitiligo, meaning it's not FDA-approved for this specific condition, but is commonly prescribed and supported by research. It's often recommended for children and for sensitive areas like the face, eyelids, neck and genitals where steroid creams are risky. Tacrolimus does not cause skin thinning, which makes it a safe choice for delicate areas like the face, eyelids and neck, even with long-term use. It's particularly effective for repigmenting facial patches, where results tend to be the most noticeable. Another advantage is cost. Since generic versions are available, it's usually more affordable compared to newer treatments. The main drawback is that tacrolimus is used off-label for vitiligo, meaning it's not officially FDA-approved for this condition, even though doctors commonly prescribe it. Results also take time. Several months may pass before you see significant improvement some patients experience burning, stinging, or itching when they first start using it, though this often improves with continued use. Finally, tacrolimus tends to work best on smaller, localized areas rather than widespread vitiligo. Opsilura cream, or ruxolitinib 1.5%. It's the first JAK inhibitor cream approved for vitiligo. It works by blocking specific immune pathways, Janus kinases, inside cells that are overactive in vitiligo, effectively halting the attack on melanocytes and allowing them to return. FDA approved for the treatment of non-segmental vitiligo in adults and children 12 years and older. Because it's FDA approved, Opsilura has been thoroughly tested in large clinical trials, giving patients and doctors strong evidence of its safety and effectiveness. Many people see visible repigmentation within about 24 weeks or six months, which is faster than many older treatments. It can also be applied to both the face and the body, making it versatile for different areas of vitiligo. The biggest drawback is cost. Without insurance or financial assistance programs, Opsilura can be very expensive. There's also a limit to how much can be used. It's only approved for application on up to 10% of the body's surface area. Side effects are usually mild and may include acne, redness, or itching at the application site. Like all JAK inhibitors, Opsilura carries a boxed warning for risks such as infections, cancer, and heart-related events. However, these risks are linked mainly to oral JAK inhibitors taken by mouth. With topical use, the risk is considered much lower. Which one is right for you? This is a decision to make with your dermatologist, but here's a general guide. Consider tacrolimus if your patches are primarily on the face or sensitive skin. You are treating a child. Your patches are small, or cost is a significant factor. Consider Opsilura if you have patches beyond just the face, on arms, legs, torso, you want a treatment with strong FDA-backed data, or you haven't had success with other treatments like tacrolimus or steroids. Important note, both treatments are often combined with phototherapy light therapy for enhanced results. The targeted UV light helps stimulate the melanocytes that are being protected by the cream. Other treatment options. Vitiligo management is multifaceted. Other options include topical corticosteroids, a first-line option for small patches, but limited to short-term use due to side effects like skin thinning. Phototherapy, the most common and effective treatment for broader vitiligo, often used in combination with topicals. Depigmentation, for extensive vitiligo, bleaching the remaining pigmented skin to create an even color. Emerging therapies, oral J AK inhibitors and cellular grafting techniques are showing promise in clinical trials. Both tacrolimus and opsilura are effective tools against vitiligo. Discuss your specific situation with your doctor to find the best path forward for you. 
If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more clear, reliable health topics. Stay informed. Stay healthy.